so uh hopefully you're all watching on facebook because the youtube one's not working um i just had a bit of on phone tech support so i think this is working i'm looking down at my ipad as well so i've connected just so i can check it out and see if there's a little little chat um maybe i can speak to a couple of you cool i'm live i'm live apparently i put my phone away cool um yeah thank you for joining me tonight this is the first live stream that i've done um i know i'm a bit late a bit late to the game um we've been this covid thing's been going on for a long time but um i had a little baby at the beginning of the lockdown and um yeah that's that's a lot a lot of work um also tonight uh this feels really special for me and um and i've really been looking forward to this because uh i've got new gear and um yeah it's great i've been um so some of the songs that you're going to hear tonight are from an unreleased EP that I've been working on for the last couple of years with my good, good old friend, Ale, Alessandro La Barbera. And, um, and some of them are from an EP that I released about three years ago. Um, when I conceived of all of these songs, though, I imagined that I would be doing this with some sort of trio, maybe a duo with some sort of backing track type bits because there's harmonies, there's loads of overdubs so i've had to pare it down but um i'm not going to just be on my double bass tonight i've got a few bits and pieces so um, before i sing anything i'm going to take the um, audacious step of uh, introducing you guys to the band so uh i'm going to just turn my camera down and here you see in front of you that big shiny one in the center is uh is a drum machine going to make some noises and um the one to the left of that is uh is the digitone it's a synthesizer it's going to play some of the parts and uh, you can't see it's just off shot but there's an npc one as well so it's been mad uh, i honestly feel like i've i've been to university or something over the last couple of months it's been a really steep learning curve and i've read a lot of manuals from cover to cover and watched a lot of youtube tutorials so um yeah i'm really excited to be using this gear i'm not monitoring myself through um speakers because i've got acoustic instruments and mics so i'm going to stick my headphones on and i wish there was some way for me to chat to you at the same time but i'm i'm staring currently at the interface of um OBS rather than a Facebook kind of thing. So I can't see the chat. So I'm just going to have to preempt some of your questions, maybe. Where's that tuner? One second. to go this first track is called bottles and um, it's going to be from my forthcoming EP called dull black ache uh, enjoy <laughs> a dog and all the dogs are barking spiders thread on branches birds are chirping and they're larking thoughts escaping sideways bringing back to the present tasks to sit and breathe out and do with very little 
else to ask. I'm talking my way out of every savour moment of the day, letting it slip, slides and gather speed and rolls away, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. There's nothing you can do to stop it except to start afresh, get 10 hours of sleep and then you find yourself sunk so deep, only panic could get a rise. Now there's so much more to do and much less time in which to do it. If I don't see it through, it's just because I see through it, which is to say, I'm procrastinating blindly as a means of self-abuse. If you can't see it happening, mate, then a mirror's of no use. To a self-made man, self-taught, self-worth is saddled to the workhorse. could taste so sweet it might be sickly still i cycle through my habits trapped in the headlights like a rabbit creating stranger fictions to disguise the same addictions i stop to smell the flowers i start to take the air if i can't have bliss i don't want anything and i'll shave off all my hair i'll rejoice in the purity of a moment still virgin i'm desperate not to spoil it so i have to rein my urging smash goes my easel and my painting's not dry yet if it doesn't see the light of day, it'll never see the sunset. Never know the grip of fear upon its outward arrival. It can sink into the mist of time and wait for its revival. While I'm taking a moment. Taking a moment to realise pleasure. It can take a whole lifetime of misspent leisure To know when to take a break from being broken and sorry From soaking up worry and pissing it on my own parade I'm afraid to face up to that which makes me grip my face For shame and disgrace for the pain gathered in this place Is a congregation of those less fortunate than I Still there's times when I'm support, I can't even pay attention Should I mention it, I'm reminded that an impoverished mind has no intention of dreaming Too little invention to lean in and hear the dogs barking Birds chirping and they're larking I get started, I'm halfway through And the feeling occurs that you want me to do something Place in the sink and the knock at the door And it's clear I'll have to stop I get started, I'm halfway through and the feeling occurs that you want me to do something Place in the sink and the knock at the door and it's clear I'll have to stop I get started, I'm halfway through and the feeling occurs that you want me to do something Place in the sink and the knock at the door and it's clear I'll have to stop Thank you. Well, I say thank you. I presume you liked it. I've no way of knowing. There's no feedback. I'll, um, I'm going to get more sort of au fait with the tech stuff here. And, you know, I'd love to have a little chat window or something there. So I can, you can ask me questions. Askmeanything.com. Um, I'm going to put this down and grab a different bass. So I got no roadie, I got no sound man. I got my family watching in the front room and um, from, I'm scattered all over. I hope they're watching, I hope mum's watching. Hello mum. Um, I've got to mute you because you are going to go mad. I need that lead. Cool. Um, yeah. So this this next this next song is um, 
is from my first EP, from my debut solo EP, which is called Onward Journey, and you can find it on Spotify. You could download it off a of Bandcamp if you want to put a bit more money in my pocket rather than someone else's. And um, and that same goes for Ali as well. Uh, he um, is my collaborator and producer. And um, Ali, if you're watching this one, uh, you're going to hear something so different from the record. I've programmed everything into the machines and uh, it's, it's synthy. And I couldn't get your awesome little guitar line. Um, I couldn't get it to sync up on the MPC. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's all kind of uh, a work in progress, getting all these machines to kind of cooperate, talk to each other, MIDI, rooting, all of these things are just kind of mind blowing. And uh, you go to sleep kind of dreaming about like pressing buttons and like what could what could go into where and how it could be rooted. That's been my life for a little while. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this one. This is dedicated especially to anyone who has ever suffered with crippling anxiety, uh, especially on the way into work in the morning on Monday. This is called On The Way. Oh 
maybe today won't turn out that way. Big hand for the for the uh, digitact, the electron digitact. It's um it's it's a little drum machine and everything's kind of programmed into that and it's been so much fun kind of putting this set together and exploring what these things can do. Um, but I'd really love to I'd really love to get into doing these sort of things regularly and um, exploring the medium of live streaming. Um, hats off to anyone who's been doing this for the last nine months or however long it's been and um and i've seen some really cool stuff as well out there on youtube and facebook and things um yeah if you want to keep updated with that and you're not already following my facebook or instagram account um at tom clarkson music get on there um check out my stuff on bandcamp get on spotify follow me on spotify and you'll be updated when the new ep drops um which i reckon realistically is going to be sometime next year now um everything's just been pushed back so much but um yeah um thank you very much um let's have a little this one's not going to use any machines this is a sort of acoustic number so to speak um except it'll be of an electric guitar So this one is uh, it's also a new tune. This is a new track. Um, I haven't released it yet. It's going to be on the new P EP, Dull Black Ache, and this is the title track. This is Dull Black Ache, but this is a uh, this is a soft version. And um, when when we do drop the record, then you'll be able to hear um, the beats master that is Alessandro La Barbera and what he's done to this track. Um, but the most exciting thing, and I cannot wait to share this with you and, um, sort of want to put it on now, but then I guess I've released it. Um, but there is a phenomenal, um, video. There's a phenomenal animated video, um, that a friend of mine, a very talented artist called Ruby Pettingill, who, um, does all of the artwork for Resonate. Um, so yeah, probably quite a few of you are watching our resonate uh, attendees resonate for everyone else so resonate is a spoken word um a music night that i host um and curate along with lily cooper and um who better be watching i'm sure she is um hi lily i will call you i will call you back at some point <laughs> once this is done i'll call you back um yeah i i I just can't always answer my phone. One of them people I don't always answer my phone. It's terrible. It's not terrible. I'm doing something, but yeah. And then it plagues me. It's like, oh, there's 20 people you haven't phoned back. And I don't want to throw my phone in the bin because it's scary. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, but yeah, the video. The video is phenomenal. So one of these days in one of these streams, I am going to share that incredible video with you. And um, I think it's going to blow your mind. But anyway, this is, this is a... Uh, a version of the dull black ache. Um, hope you enjoy. I feel so heavy. I don't know what to do. It's not my fault. But I To the country or a Venetian summer home. I've got a dull black egg that makes me feel so alone. That didn't die, that didn't die, that didn't die, that didn't die, that didn't die. Sitting by the seaside, waiting for. Your love 
the sun seems so irrelevant shining no down from above so i step into the garden shade holding a flower in my hand knowing that you're the only one who could ever understand how i feel about the world around me and how i Like there's two of me and they split apart from each other when I fell out of my tree one hit every branch on the way down and he wallows in the roots while the other clings to the top branch hoping to taste forbidden fruit and when the two come back together Stand the glow of the sun, but there still lives only two halves. Till whenever you come back and make us one. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. I um, I'm habitually saying thank you because that's what you do at a gig. You'd hear a clap and you go, "Oh, thank you, thank you." You you could be be sitting there like picking your nose. You probably are, because Facebook, isn't it? So, you know, you're probably on your sofas. Maybe you were doing something else just before, and you're like, oh, "I'm going to do that for a little while now. I'm going to look at that." Drinking, as Frank Moon said to me earlier, drinking a beer with your hand down your pants, watching me on Facebook Live. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you. I noticed, um, <laughs> I'm looking at on my computer screen, I'm looking at the OBS interface and I'm seeing, you know, my, my meter um, and I see it clipped into the red there. So, sorry if that got a bit distorted, I hope it sounded like, you know, like a sort of tape saturation. I hope it made it sound old and like messed up and uh, heartbroken. I hope it added to the lustre. Oh, hang about, actually. I'm gonna do another one with this, with this here guitar, and uh, I got a loop station. I never had a loop station because they always annoyed me. You know, you know that kind of music. Maybe I'm, t maybe this is sort of for the musicians watching. But you know that kind of music where it's just, or it just because it's like you can only loop four bars, and then it's just this sort of loop. It's too, it's just too much. But um, no, they're pretty cool actually. These loop stations, and the great thing is, is um, I, I need one to play this this song. So. Uh, Another member of my band, down on the floor, the Infinity Looper by Pigtronics. Um, so yeah, we're we're a five piece. We're a five piece band. Um, why do I want to put this headphone? It's really annoying. This headphone. I didn't practice with a headphone. I didn't imagine it would be this annoying. Hang on. Let me change the, the program. I hope you enjoy this next one. This is called In All the Wrong Places.
So I'm gonna have to start that one again. <laughs> the trouble with using a loop station is if you fluff it, you're done. <laughs> Bye.
thank you for uh <laughs> thanks for letting me start again i practiced that so many times with the loop i was like oh god you got to get that it has to be on that beat then you have to press that thing and you have to sing but um yeah i really enjoy playing that song um and that's the first time i've really been able to do it with all of the original samples and things that were on there so um thank you very much And now I'm going to be back on the double bass. For a couple of tunes. Um, this is another one from Onward Journey. This is the title track of Onward Journey. So this is Onward Journey.
sorry that's just um uh, messing around that's not another song um i just enjoy the sound of the double bass it's nice <laughs> um if there's any double bass players watching um that aren't lucy mulgan or, or simon thorpe who already know very well um i recently i say recently about a year ago i decided to tune my bass in fifths um which makes it a little bit more like an octave cello rather than a normal double bass so a normal double bass would be tuned a bit like how a bass guitar is tuned um you know e-a-d-g uh, so tuning it this way is is, is kind of cool because it gives you a couple of things that like one thing is your, your your higher string is a tone higher so that means you don't have to reach up so high when you want to play high notes um and it's just a nice tone as well but the really cool thing the absolute best thing is um i don't know how well that translates on the average person's uh viewing listening experience on facebook because you may be on a phone maybe you've got some headphones in i don't know but um that low c is is super 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 deep and um the other upshot of it is that you can play chords quite easily um so there's an a major chord and things like that so the next couple of songs that i'm going to play um feature that kind of stuff um the second one um a little bit more extensively but this first one um you're going to hear two double basses throughout this one because um i sampled the original so the double bass that's on this next track is is like really heavily sampled and processed and and kind of almost sort of lo-fi um and the reason for that is it was just a really really shit double bass it was the first double bass i had and um yeah, it wasn't particularly good quality, but it just sounded, you know, it sounded right. It sounds really good. So I've left it on and I, I sampled it into the Digitact and um, I'm going to play live over the top sometimes. So you, you'll sort of hear a, dis, a, a, you know, one or the other, but I'm not miming. I just thought I'd better provide that disclaimer in case my hands stop moving and you still hear this kind of glitchy double bass. Um, but yeah, you might hear a couple of bass chords in there. Uh, this is called Up With The Crows. comes in on an off beat so <laughs> i couldn't program that in so you might see i might i wonder if i can get this right i gotta like hit two machines really quickly whilst balancing the double bass let's see if i can do it paint the shape against my hand now let the color run down your arms breathe a note onto my lips love then blow it away da -da 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 -da. Blow it away. 
enchanting me I listen and of all the voices in the chorus the only one that sings is a far cry that brings me home to rest Seriously, thank you to everyone who's joined me tonight. Um, I don't know how many of you there are, and um, I wish I had like a chat thing so um, I could answer some questions or ask you questions, and you could respond to me in the chat. Um, a dialogue, if you will. Um, yeah, but really, thanks for joining me. This has been really special doing my first uh, live streaming. Actually, it's not the first live streaming gig I've done. It's the first live streaming gig I've done of this set, of this music, of, of my solo stuff. And um, I did do a really cool one um, in, uh, so me and my partner Kiara performed as a duo for um, a crowd of people. It was the first gig anyone had seen since the first lockdown. So it was when they eased the restrictions and you were allowed to have outdoor events. And Jenny Miller of Barefoot Opera, um, who's got a suitably sized uh, outdoor space put on a gig and um yeah that was really cool that was really fun very different experience though because we were outside and we were performing to a crowd and there was no tech gear i was just playing double bass and guitar and singing um so it's kind of acoustic uh yeah but um i've lost my train of thought there uh using all this stuff and program has been a bit of a labor of love and it's really nice sharing these songs with you i've got lots more there's loads off of the new ep that i haven't done tonight and um if you like what you heard tonight, go and check it out. Go and check out the studio versions. Go and check out all the hard um, production work that um, myself and uh, Ale put into uh, that production. And um, yeah, and tune in next time for uh, for a few more songs. I'm going to do one more song, and um, this is a special song. Um, it's an intimate song. I don't need my headphones for this because it's just double bass and me singing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed tonight. And, um, yeah, if you're watching this in the future, then um, I hope it's really cool and groovy in the future. This is called um, I Fly Too. <sighs> I think I need a little drink of water, actually. I say bon voyage. Oh, it's bloody hot in here. There's a bit of a time delay, but um, Chiara, if you're uh, still watching, could you go and turn off the heating? It's bloody hell, it's hot. Maybe it's all the equipment okay yep 
thank you everyone for watching tonight and um yeah look forward to seeing you all in the virtual world in the real world very soon lovely people i've been tom clarkson thank you very much to coastal currents audio trope for hosting this event tonight and um the really hard work and awesome work that they're doing in our community and um thank you to all of you guys for tuning in and watching and um i wish you all the best hope uh, i hope you tune in tomorrow night um as a whole program each weekend um, and I hope uh, I hope I've done it justice by kicking it off in style. And um, I hope you have a lovely night and a lovely weekend. Goodbye. <laughs>